good morning. It is opening day of quail season. We're out here. We camped out here last night. Camp is behind me. We had. It's about to start. It's about to start. So it's actually also dove season too. Yeah. We, the sun's starting to come up behind me here. Nathan's ready to go for sure. Uh, we already saw one dove fly right over the top of us while we're just hanging out drinking our coffee. So that means it's time to go. We're hearing the turkeys down in the creek. So we're gonna pack it up and get going. There's there's a dove right there. I'll go, I'll go out. First bird of the morning, in the bag. He's practicing for Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> Love it. Nice right pair. All right, Nate just shot two quail. It looks like he found one. And he's looking for the other one, so I'm gonna go help him look for it. All right, first quail in the bag. That's right. Big ol' nice bob white. Bob white female. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Guys, this is crazy. So our campsite is about 150 yards that way. We drove in last night and we were just hearing tons of coyotes just all around us. And then when we set up camp, we thought we smelled something at first, like, I don't know, like something dead. And so we looked all around our campsite thinking maybe there was a dead rabbit or something like that. Didn't see anything. So we went ahead and set up camp. This morning we caught a little bit of a whiff, but not much. But after our quail hunt this morning, we started looking around and we found something crazy. There's a little bit of gore here. So if that sets you off, don't look. Um, just skip past this part, but this is nuts y'all So this deer Was trying to jump this fence line and got his foot caught in the fence He never got out and then coyotes just polished him off Little little spike buck Man, what a horrible way to go. Yeah, he's just, just caught in that fence, man. I got a dove, I got a dove, I got a dove while I was pooping. I got a dove. All right, hold on, hold on. Oh, sorry. What, what, what do you have here? Well, that's the poop shovel. That's a dove. Dude, story. Shells are gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, always bring your gun with you, wherever you go. I was trying to find the perfect tree, pretty picky. I was walking around, walking around, had three shells in here. I found the tree. I was about to put my gun down literally like this, and like nine dove, like pop up out of the ground. Like it was, I mean, it's <laughs> middle of the day. I figured there'd be in a tree or something. Anyways, so I start shooting. Like from the hip, like <laughs> total saying, shooting from the hip. And I think I raised it like up to here maybe. But I hit one and, but I kept on shooting and I hit another one and I killed this one for sure. And I already lost one quail this morning um, by trying, trying to search for two. So went ahead and found this one. I think the first one I hit, I might've just like winged or something like that. I don't, I don't know, I don't think I hit it really hard, but uh, So yeah. bird, bird in the ground. Poop in the ground. <laughs> you're a bird in the bag <laughs> while your pants were on the ground pooping. <laughs> So whenever we're on these hunting trips, we like to do just little projects just to kind of help out the landowner. Um, just because we're grateful to be able to hunt. So just anytime we're out here, we just like to help out. So today we've got this whole silo 
and we are gonna get to work cleaning the sucker out. Yeah, there's just like some cow feed, um, bags, rat poop, and stuff like that. Pretty simple stuff, but he's an older guy, and um, it's just something that, nice that we can do for him with nice, strong backs. And the hunting's no good in the middle of the day anyway, so you might as well help out. All these buckets were piled up in there. They were all full of feed bags and scraps and rat crap and dust and dirt. Got all them out. Huge pile of junk that we're gonna burn later tonight. And then Nate's doing a kick-ass job of giving this thing a nice final sweep. Seriously. Major yeah. progress. Looks so much better. So much better. Need some way to deal with the... Yeah, seriously. Get some sound insulation. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple birds this morning, doves and quail. We worked hard to clean out that grain silo, and I think we were all just tired. So we kind of took a bit of a nap, hung out a little bit at camp, but the afternoon's getting late, so it's time to go head back out there and, and hit it again, see if we can get some more birds. So this afternoon we're setting up by a pond. We're probably going to see more doves than quail, but again, either one's on the table. So. Hopefully, should be a good hunt. Well, I didn't see anything on my little hike around these trees behind me, so I'm just gonna kinda sit down, tuck in the shade, and just kinda be patient and wait for the birds to come in. Yeah, that was that was a good little burst though. Another one on that same route. Up high. Man, this hunt was super frustrating. Not that there was a shortage of birds. Uh, they were coming in in bursts, groups of three to four, flying fast, but I was getting shots. 
Nathan was covered up by birds. My dad was covered up by birds. I had a whole lot over here. I brought down at least six or seven, and I only found two. And that's so frustrating to me, just because... I thought I saw something above me. It's so frustrating, just because you hit them, then this broom straw is just so tall that when you can't find them, it's just a complete waste. Oh, it's frustrating. Like, there were birds that I just... They just crumpled and fell, and I saw them hit the dirt, or about where they hit the dirt. But then in this broom straw, by the time you walk 50 yards to go find them, they're just they're just gone. You could search for hours and hours, and you probably still wouldn't find it. And then the ants will be on it and take it out. So tonight, two in the bag. I think Nathan and my dad. I think I think they both did a little bit better, but. Not that there was any shortage of birds, I just need to remind myself to slow down. Because the number one reason why, at least for me, why I don't find birds is because I shoot at a bird, it falls down, and then another bird flies by and I look at that. And then by the time I need to go look at where that first bird fell, I'm just looking at a sea of green and it could be anywhere. So this was a really good reminder to just slow down, take one shot at a time, go find it. Even if the sky's full of birds, go find it bring it back, set up for the next shot. So, frustrating night for me, but it was cool to see a lot of birds. I need to focus on that. So, right now we're gonna pack up, head back to camp, and have a good dinner. All right, so my dad is down here cleaning the birds from this evening, a bunch of morning doves, and then Nathan never fails to get a rabbit, it seems. So, we got a rabbit right there as well. Cleaning this dub out too. <laughs> yeah, clean that. So that part. Uh, let me see that again. So you open it up the back, and that's that's the good stuff in there. That's, we call, we that's, call it the controls. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so taking apart the decoys. Cleaning the birds, and then I'm on dinner duty tonight. So we got like a pasta salad, some garlic rolls. I was gonna do some corn, but we had corn for lunch, so we're not doing that again. Oreos, of course, and not then just corn for lunch. <laughs> yeah, it was more than corn. Yeah, we just went over to the feeder and ate some corn. But then on the grill, we've got some big old venison backstraps cooking up. So those those will be good. So a couple more minutes on this side, then flip them, and that'll be good. Holster up. Alright, so we made basically a big trash pile out of all those feed bags that we scraped out of that uh, silo. So we're just gonna go ahead and burn that now, have a big old bonfire, and just kind of clean up the mess. There she goes. It's like a creepy face in the firelight. They created some bird. They have it out here in Texas. They call it the Bob White. We ha we had Richard White. We said Richard White. See? Now people go around saying, "Ooh, I'm gonna kill the Bob White." <whistles> kind of like Richard. Richard White. Richard. <laughs> I've already told you once. The lasagna's ready. Who do I look like, Lucy? Your damn mistress? No. No. This is Sarah. Sarah. Richard Wine, lasagna's ready. Zip up your damn pants, eat your lasagna. Good
Tom the Turkey Radio. We're going to talk to you today about Tom, Timmy, Judy, Tom, and Jake. You sound like Alex Jones. I don't know who Alex Jones is. Super male vitality. Tom, 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 Bend it. Bend it. Do that. Do turkey trot. But I, I mean, it's not really that good. I, mean, I couldn't fool a hen to come out, you know? <laughs> You're such a funny man. Heavy! Do, 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 do. There's a heavy! Do, do. All right, we're getting a little bit of a late start this morning. Uh, Starting to get light as we crawled out of our tent, so we had our coffee and pop tarts and all that quick. So we're gonna go see if we can get some doves, but we're gonna stay pretty close to where our camp was. So piling in the mule, and we're gonna head down there. Next day, but I've completely just fallen into the same rut. Shot a bird right out in this field. Great shot, just completely crumpled. Not finding him anywhere. This is why you need a really good bird dog. Looks like we got a cactus injury. So it went all the way through your boot? So count this morning was three bobwhite quail. I think they're just so cool looking. Uh, five doves, morning doves, and then one rabbit, just a little cottontail. Without fail, it seems like Nathan gets a rabbit every single time we're out here. <laughs> every time we're hunting for one. But I will say, I've gotten two rabbits, but I think, I think I've seen about six while I've been out here. So the tall brush is just like, I mean, it's such good cover for them. Yeah, the, the tall brush just, it's great cover for rabbits and it makes it so hard to find birds. I mean, I, I had a bird that I lost today. I think you said you did too. At least a couple. It, it just makes it so hard. Watch out, again. One in the shoot. Loaded chamber indicator. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great timing for you to do your wounded rabbit impression. Oh my gosh. Uh, That's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, so we are breaking down camp now. It was fun. We got some quail, we got some doves, we got some rabbits, and we are now headed out. Are you scratching your back with a don't do that. Don't, don't be like that guy. <laughs> Until next time, stay safe, be free, and never stop seeking adventure. Hats off to you. We're done.